So in terms of shock package for this vehicle, so I have a coil carrier, a bypass shock, and then a bump stop. And these are really cool. These are new from King. They're piggyback reservoir bump stops. Most bump stops are just regular smooth tube shocks, but these ones just look really insane. And what I have here is this gold piece that's connecting everything together is called a slapper arm. And so the advantage to this is as the suspension cycles, the angle of the bump stop can change. But the idea is when the bump stop is fully extended, it's going to land on the lower control arm here. And I have a limit mate between these components. So the distance between this component and the lower control arm, its minimum can be zero and its maximum can be whatever. And that's a limit mate. So rather than just like a contact or a tangent or some other kind of mate, it's a mechanical interface. So as this lower control arm cycles up, it contacts the bump stop and it goes all the way up with it. And so it they call it a slapper arm because it slaps on top of the part that it's interfacing with. The advantage is this bump stop, the angle is variable. So it's never going to scrub or rub on the part that it's touching with. It just follows it smoothly all the way up to the top of the bump. And so that's a huge advantage because most bump stops are mounted at a fixed angle and you have to really be careful about where you put it, what it touches and whether it can rub without breaking stuff. But these slapper arms are becoming more and more popular and it was kind of the perfect use case for something as complicated as this because there's a lot of stuff jammed in here in a tight area and this this wheel moves almost three feet in wheel travel in the front and so to get that bump angle right would be really challenging but the slapper arm just makes it perfect every time